This is the tutorial for Math Battle. We're going to go through the various features of the game so that you understand how to best use it. Let's start with a new game. The game presents the player with 10 math problems to solve before proceeding. The best way to solve a problem is to work it out manually, writing directly on the screen. Once you've solved the problem, enter your answer on the keypad on the right. This allows you to practice operations such as carrying and borrowing. It also enables solving more complex multiplication and division problems. Once the 10 problems have been answered correctly, a space mission begins. Instructions are presented for the current mission. Tap on the screen to proceed. You are then put at the controls of a space fighter on the left are weapon controls. On the top is a smart blaster, which can fire once for each math problem answered correctly on the first try, and once for each crystal you mine. Below that is a standard blaster button. Next to them is a green radar reset button. On the right is a thruster bar that allows you to control your speed. Swipe anywhere on the screen to turn. A radar on the screen shows the location of the nearest mineable asteroid with a blue box. The nearest enemy is indicated by a red box. No enemies are present on this first mission. The first three missions are training missions and contain extra text on the screen to teach the controls. These go away after training is completed. Generally, the game is played with two hands. I'm using one to make the action of each control clear. Use the thruster to approach targets shown on the radar. Shoot asteroids to release an energy crystal. Your ship is equipped with a tractor beam that will collect it automatically. Once the goals for the mission have been completed, the autopilot takes you into hyperspace and you have another set of math problems to solve. Let's look at the setting screen. One of the great features of Math Battle is the ability to adjust both the type of problems that are presented and the difficulty of those problems. You can make adjustments for any of the four basic arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Clicking on the plus and minus buttons on either side of the setting adjusts it. An addition setting of 10 means that any number up to 10 can be used to create the problem. Similarly, a multiplication setting of 10 means that multiplication problems up to 10 times 10 might appear. Subtraction and division function a little bit differently. A subtraction setting of 10 indicates that the answer can be a number as large as 10. Similarly, a setting of 10 for division means that the answer can be as large as 10. Choose appropriate settings for the player. For example, my second grader likes the settings to be at 99 for addition, 10 for subtraction, and 5 for multiplication. Now let's look at the resume mission button. The game is automatically saved as you pass levels. To begin where you last left off, press the resume mission button. You'll get 10 math problems and play will begin on the most recent level. There's one final button on the main screen to discuss. That is the small all game no math button. This will take you to the iTunes store to purchase Battle for Vesta, which is the game that Math Battle is based on. Battle for Vesta has additional options, such as tilt steering and a volume control, has more levels, and culminates in a series of massive space battles with dozens of ships fighting at once, and it doesn't make you do math problems. I give away Math Battle for free because I think it is a useful application that helps teach math. If you appreciate it, you can support its development by purchasing Battle for Vesta. Thank you.